This video had enough views, and I know some of you maybe wanting to look down the bore and see how it looks, so I'm going to attempt to mount this scope to a 2x4. Um, and at least my phone can attach to the back here, and I'll just mount this M lock to Picatinny rail on the board, scope to that, and then furnish or fix my phone back here, hopefully, to get a decent downpour. So that's what I'll be doing this video, and hopefully, getting some uh, downpour shots. Might be asking why I would use such a fine piece of wood, such as this pressure treated and aged piece of fur, instead of a nice piece of oak or walnut, but that's because uh, times are tough. Putting this on wood also, so if I go outside, if this works, I won't be pointing uh, my gun everywhere, so it's uh, much less intimidating, I guess, for any neighbors that may or may not be outside. Unfortunately, I lost daylight by the time I got this little rig set up. So what I'll do is just show a couple things for down bore. Um, here's the lowest setting. For the illuminator. Three, four, five, and six. There is an off notch in between each of the settings, which is nice to have. We'll go into 10 times magnification. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, looking at a target across the wall, maybe 25 feet away. We're at five times zoom. The illumination is on five right now so we're indoors we'll put it up to six you can see and then we'll slowly zoom in apologize for this being shaky and we're gonna lose some sight box zoom in okay there's 10 power much more than this and Misalignment of the camera just messes everything up. Back 
count to five. Well, now I know why they sell those special cameras that attach to the endoscopes for people who make these videos regularly. <laughs>